Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the SBA3 brace and what I believe is the single best value add, an actual good sling mount. Stick around. All right, so what am I talking about? Well, this is a modification that I didn't come up with, but um, I'll, I'll have a link down below to the original source. I followed that genius's tutorial and I really like the way that it turned out and I wanted to make a video about it. It's very simple and it doesn't require any permanent modification to the brace. So let's look at what's involved. So what this consists of is a regular side folding mechanism from the brace, which has a specific shape that interfaces on the brace itself. Um, and then a SGI sling mount that I have modified to fit right over this, this shape here. Now this particular shape um, slots into the folding mechanism here. And basically what this is doing is adding the sling plate to right in between those two spaces. So, um, it doesn't require any permanent modification to the brace itself. Um, you're not changing anything. You're not manufacturing anything. All you're doing is adding a thin slot of metal right over the top of this molded piece of plastic. And then sticking out the side here, you have an actual sling loop that you can utilize. When I was making this, um, I used a drill to drill out a, a starting slot and then a Dremel to get the rough shape, not too much because the, the, the edges are very thin. Um, and then I use files uh, to actually file out the actual square shape here. Um, the actual shape that I ended up with is about 0.89 inches or 22.6 millimeters uh, by 0.59 inches or 15.1 millimeters. You just clip that part off and then file this down um, until it fits about the right size. Mine's a little big in places, a little small in places, but um, it fits flush and I think it turned out super well. So in putting this back, you just insert it in between the two, in between the plastic and the metal hinge Use your nut here and your, your screw and your bolt. Use your nut and bolt and cinch it down so that the metal plate is sandwiched in between uh, the brace and the folding mechanism. And there you go. Here it is, mounted on my ZPAP. Um, as you can see, the you know classic style sling mount. It works fantastic for that, looping around the back of the brace um, so that you have tension on your sling when you're not utilizing it. And then of course, when it's folded, it still works totally fine. It's a good sling. You know, you can loop it and run around with it. <laughs> LARP all you want. Um, I genuinely think that this is one of the best possible modifications you can make to this brace other than throwing it away and getting an actual stock. But until that day is forced upon us, this particular setup is excellent and I am quite pleased with it. So just wanted to share that. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you later.